Hey everybody, welcome to my channel and take number, I don't know, 15 on this voiceover. So today we are going to look at Nail Addicts Gel Polish. They have a new collection um, and it is available now. It released yesterday, I believe. And there are seven in this collection. First up, we have Diamonds for Breakfast. This is a gel polish. It is vegan, cruelty-free, and nine-free, and dusty. The box they send them in, they have like the shredded paper in it, and it gets dust everywhere anyway. So you'll um, notice on my swatch stick, I put F-O-R instead of the number four, like an idiot, but there you go. So I do love that they write it on the front of the bottles, the names, because I'm always flipping it up looking for it. Oh, it's on the front. All right, I am gonna swatch all seven of these for you and do a little artwork. Um, they ask for something like 4th of July-ish. And I did do a mani on my sister-in-law using um, Nail Attic Polish, but, and it was 4th of July Memorial Day themed, but I'm not feeling that for myself today. So we'll see what we do. I do have a discount code and it is uh, Guileen2 and that is for 45% off any two polishes or more. They also have lamps. All right, my husband's out here mowing. Hopefully you he can't hear that. All right, first step, diamonds for breakfast. This one does have a clear base, but it is packed full of glitters. Silver and I don't know, or like platinum and pink, so pretty. But as you can see, it does have a clear base. And this one is Quartz Rose. Very nice creamy formula. Now I do go a little he more heavy handed on these swatch sticks than I would painting my nails or somebody else's nails. So keep that in mind. And that's another reason I always do two coats because I just want to know what it is with two coats because that's normally what I do. Um, for some reason, oh honey, I didn't start recording until I had already swiped it a couple times. So this one also really creamy and opaque these level out so nice because this one was a little patchy on the first couple swipes but after it sat for just a minute it was beautiful okay tuscan sun here's where we get a little i get a little confused because when i swatch this um you can see it's kind of translucent almost a glassy formula it's not exactly creamy opaque you know kind of like a crelly so these you do kind of have to be patient with and once again i thought this is really patchy um, and i was a little confused but look how nice that just leveled right out so happy with that and then um, we were I'm trying not to judge until the second coat on that. And here is Bora Bora. This one, whenever I was looking at my camera or looking at my screen, you know, as I was recording, it was just blue. It was just a completely different color. And teal blues are really bad about this, either looking green or looking blue on camera. But I feel like as I'm editing now, it looks true to color. It is a really beautiful, deep teal. So really happy with that one. Again, very creamy, very opaque. So pretty. Here we have Cherry Soda. This, again, is like Tuscan Sun. It is a little Crelly-like, which is a, a cream jelly a little patchy you can see that there the first coat didn't apply great and I was kind of disappointed because I thought oh I really like this color 
And lastly, we have Underground. Sorry, ran out of my label maker labels. So I didn't get a label put on this one. And it's just a dark gray. Creamy, opaque, very nice dark gray. Um, about the color of my laundry room. If you saw my last video, you saw my laundry room. Alright, we're going in for a second coat. And I just feel like, and you'll see soon, because I do end up, the artwork I do, I end up putting um, the quartz rose under this. And I also put the underground as underwear. Undies, and then use this as a topper. And I think that really it would build up absolutely in three coats to opacity. Um, it's so full of glitter, it doesn't matter. It's got a, it's on a clear coat or a clear base, but for all that to shine, it really does need a clear base. And there is two coats of quartz rose and two coats of oh honey. This one did fill back out like when I put a second coat, this is no problem. And I this one, I mean it's really boring. <laughs> I just feel like it's not a mustard, it's not a it's not a nude, it's like it's more peachy I think it looks more peachy in person and I think that that would just look so nice on darker skin tones and here is Tuscan Sun with a second coat and I understood after the second coat I got it it has so much depth to it it's not just a mustard yellow you know it's just not and it's not orange it is very pretty. Ooh, that red and orange would look pretty like gradient, like as a gradient. Ooh, I should have done that. But it built up and leveled out and it is gorgeous. I think it would look really good paired with Bora Bora here. Very pretty. These do cure in 60 seconds or two minutes in a UV. Do they even make the um, LED just LED anymore? They're all UV LED, right? Oh, look at that glow. It's so pretty. It is so bright and gorgeous. I love it. They knew what they were doing with the Crelly formula. Oh, here we go. Uh, 30 seconds. And I almost always do a minute, but unless it's just clear coat. Or two minutes in an LED, which again, I don't think they even make those anymore. Sorry, my screen's a little smudged. Or my camera lens, I guess. I am using just some clear um, top coat, no wipe top coat, as like an art gel, as a spreading slip layer. And then I just grabbed a little bit of the gray and some of the white. And I'm just going to make a little marble. And then as you see, I have some of the, I should have put a little more pink, I think, in with this too. I don't know always give marbles like this a chance when you're doing them because when you start out it's like ugh, that's like I don't like that I did get a little too much black at the top or the gray I think but if you put like I said you don't have to have an art gel actual art gel you can just use no wet no wipe top coat and it it'll spread Maybe not as much, but I think plenty. So always just give marble a chance. Sometimes it's, I had a hard time with it for a long time and then I finally just went, uh, whatever. And <laughs> started slapping it on there and it always turns out really well. Well, I'm gonna say 99% of the time. And I added a little bit of glitter in there on the darker areas because I just didn't like that spot. 
And that's another thing I like about that. You can just kind of keep messing with it. All right, you guys, thanks so much for joining me. Um, please go check out, I, I noticed that uh, Evie with the Nail Junkie has this set too, and go check out what she did with it. She always does amazing artwork. See, I mean, once it starts flowing, it really does look nice. There they all are. Please uh, remember to check down below for the instructions for the giveaway and stay tuned. I'm going to show you what is in this month's giveaway or in this month, <laughs> today's giveaway. Bye. Today's giveaway is going to include the curable peel off base coat. Not ashamed. and beyond gorgeous. It's also going to include a wax sampler from Adored Colors, a little sticker, a gummy from Bases Loaded Lip Lush, I can't say it, Bases Loaded Lush Lip Lacquer, a sample of her new Lush Gloss and a sample of oil from my own private collection of Belux Cuticle Oil. And this is in the scent Cherry Amaretto that she made just for me. Somebody. Oh, 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 oh. oh did I get you? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now I remember why I don't like the little short ones because <laughs> she like goes from my hand.